Here we have one of our 347s, 440 horsepower versions. Just did some dyno pulls on it, doing a valve train inspection. As you can see, it's got Scorpion roller rockers. It's got the Edelbrock heads. We do all the guide work, valve job work, nice little bulb blend here in house. Nice head. This is a hydraulic roller motor. Uh, we have that custom ground by comp cams for us. It's got custom JE pistons, tool steel rings. It's got MSD Pro Billet Distributor, Quick Fuel SS 650, custom wires. It's nice bright red for this customer. Actually, when you receive your crate, be documentation in it of the build, specifications, oil clearances, torque specs, everything of that nature. You'll get the dyno sheets, tell you all the power readings, oil pressure, vacuum, O2 readings. Highly recommend installing an O2 in your vehicle to tune it up for your air cleaner, exhaust, things of that nature. And naturally it's dynoed, so uh, timing is set. You'll get a tag uh, that comes with the motor. Don't lose that tag. It'll give you two uh, specifications, one at 1,000 RPM and one at 4,500. Uh, 4,500 is one really critical about. You just rev it up, and that'll be full advance. Typically it's 32 degrees, but look at your tag. When it comes back to 1,000 RPM, it'll kind of give you an RPM that should be naturally. It's in the curve, so it's going to bounce around a bit there. So definitely check it when you fire up. You never know if it's moved or whatever that might be. So don't lose that tag. Uh, if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to contact us. We'll uh, try to answer everything you got there. We'll button her back up, make some more pulls.